Well, I've come to Padbury today to uh, pay my respects to the, the fallen in World War One. Both my uh, grandfathers survived the, uh, the conflict, but I've come to the little village of Padbury today, which is on my grandmother's side, and I just wanted to uh, just come to this little war memorial here, and uh, just to remember and pay my respects to the uh, to the fallen. And here it is. Yeah, so these young men, 1914 through to 1918, uh, 10 million dead in total, World War I, which I understand 900,000 uh, were, were British. But of course, there were many Americans, Canadians, New Zealanders, West, in, uh, West, West Indians, many French as well, just stood and, uh, and took it on the battlefields. Uh, but I'm here today just to remember the, um, the fallen. A hundred years since the guns fell silent. So I don't know anything at all really about my uh, grandfather on my father's side uh, but my grandfather on my mother's side I do uh, he uh, joined up at the age of 15 as many young men did they saw it as a, a patriotic duty uh, his mother was horrified to find out that he joined up but it was too late so she wrote to his commanding officer and he joined the uh, the Liverpool Welsh um, regiment and uh, as I say she wrote to him um, and he said I can't send him back home to you but what I will do is I'll send him back from the front line so he uh, was sent to the uh, Royal Signals uh, where he survived the war and went, went on to become a, a pioneer of uh, early radio uh, setting up his own business in 1920 um, his contemporaries were uh, a young man called Bill Lyons who went on to found uh, Jaguar Cars and uh, another young man called Frank Taylor who went on to found Taylor Woodrow uh, and all three of these young men uh, my, uh, my own grandfather George uh, were washing cars outside Brown and Malaloo's in Blackpool in 1920 and exchanging ideas so many survived the war but obviously many never came home many were never found 72,000 were never found and uh, we should remember them so this is just my tribute to them today, uh, this is back to the bike, uh, lest we forget. Uh, and it's going to be uh, a very moving moment I think on uh, Sunday the 11th, at the 11th hour, uh, when we hear the last post. Yeah, riding through Padbury village, which was... Uh, one of the places my father used to come to when he was uh, young. Probably got some uh, relatives here. And I'm just on my way up to the church now. Just to look for a little more uh, information about the, uh, the fallen from uh, Padbury. These young men in their twenties. I'm in Padbury Church now and uh, looking at the memorial of the, uh, the men who came from Padbury village who fought in uh, France and Belgium, Gallipoli, Mesopotamia, Italy, Russia, Ypres, Marne, Dardanelles, the Falklands, Jutland, Egypt and East Africa. Okay, these young men, anywhere between 16 and early 20s. Who, uh, who gave their lives, so uh, it's important that we remember.